One of my favorite rifles is my early Lancaster style rifle. It's done uh, in the style of uh, Jacob Dickert and it was made by Sean Webster. It's a 45 caliber gun, the swamp barrel, and it's just great to shoot. Uh, light, easy, and it's, it's kind of my main match rifle. Uh, and, ironically, I had it off this summer doing a little bit of practice for a match, and it, um, it broke on me. Uh, the sear, the nose of the sear broke off, and I had to take it to Brad Emig to get it fixed, which he did. I had him tune up the lock for me, and um, this is just a little video I was never planning on actually showing where I took it out to the range. I just wanted to make sure that the sights hadn't gotten knocked out of position uh, while it was being worked on. And in fact, everything was just lovely. And it was hitting right where it was supposed to go, and I was perfectly happy. Uh, and then I cleaned it before going home, and that's where everything went wrong. So I was cleaning it up, and of all things, the cleaning jag broke off the threaded shaft which in this case was brass not steel broke off and the jag and patch are located stuck in my barrel so i'm going to do a little video showing you how you get that out of here all right so what i'm going to try to do is fire that jag out which is not really fun but the procedure is to prick in as much priming powder as possible into the touch hole. And try to get it behind the jag. Now unfortunately for me, this jag is stuck all the way back there. So, I've already put a good bit of powder in. That's about all I'm going to get. So now I'm going to prime it, and I'm going to try to fire it out. So you know, when I shoot this, I want to know if the jag actually comes out. So I'm putting my uh, copper dipping cup on it, which I may end up sacrificing. Uh, so when I need to get a drink out of the creek, I use this cup. So I'm just laying that at the end of the muzzle so that the jag will shoot into that. And I'll know, even if it goes flying, I'll, I'll know if it uh, came out or not. So let's see. Okay, I primed it, got my ear protection in. Let's see. And I don't think I moved it. All right, because it was all the way down at the breech, I didn't have much room to get powder behind it. I still blew it about halfway up the barrel, but not out. So I put more powder in. Now, before shooting it again, I seated the jag fully on the powder charge. I don't want any air space in there. I don't want to ring the barrel. So let's see if we get it out this time. And the answer is yes. Okay, well, as you saw, it obviously came out that time. And in fact, I retrieved the cup about 20 yards away. Uh, luckily, it hit a tree and stopped. But, I was hoping to retrieve the jag, but uh, no way, it blew right through that cup. So you wouldn't want to be on the wrong end of that barrel when that thing comes out, even with a small powder charge like that. But that's the way you clear a broken jag or a stuck ball. So, um, till next time, bye.